crowd surrounds Iranian policemen who brutally beat street vendor. A video of a large crowd surrounding Iranian policemen in Tehran after they viciously beat up a street vendor and destroyed his small cart was widely circulated on social media on Wednesday. A group of young men surrounded the policemen who were sat in their car. People in the crowd are heard chanting that the policemen get out of their car, chanting, come out, but they refuse and cover their faces so as not to appear on camera. Millions of Iranian citizens work as street vendors to make ends meet amid the rising poverty and ailing economic situation in the country. However, Iranian authorities legally ban those people from selling on the street because of increasing complaints from store owners. Protests have heightened in the country, where on several occasions, demonstrators chant, not Gaza, not Lebanon, my soul is for Iran, in which translates public anger towards the spending of billions of Iranian money on militias who meddle in the affairs of Arab states. Iran regime minister shocked by $250 billion of import requests. Iran's Minister of Industry, Mines and Business says fluctuations in the local forex market in the past four months have tripled the number of applications for import licenses worth $250 billion. Describing the figure as unbelievable, Mohammad Sharit Madari has insisted that a number of profiteering individuals are trying to fish in troubled waters, referring to the current currency and economic crisis. The figure of $250 billion is almost triple that of Iran's annual oil income. Import applications mean requests by importers to receive cheaper, subsidized dollars or other hard currencies from the government. Women played prominent roles in recent protests in Tehran and Rasht. On August 14th, women joined the protest rally of plundered investors of Caspian Credit and Al Bors Iranian Institutes in front of the central bank in Tehran, Iran. The protesting crowd slammed the regime's hollow promises and demanded their money back after two years of protests. They accused the officials of lying and turning a blind eye on their empty baskets. Women played prominent roles also in the protest by employees of Edelat Stocks Company held outside the Ministry of Economic Affairs and Finance in Tehran. Tehran official, tsunami of poverty bearing down on Iran. A municipal leader in the Iranian capital of Tehran has issued a stark warning about Iran's economic problems, saying a tsunami of poverty is bearing down on society. Iranian state media said Tehran City Council Chairman Mohsen Hassimi Rafsanjani made the comment in a Tuesday speech about urban governance in the capital. He was quoted as saying, Today, poverty is bearing down on society like a tsunami. The Tehran municipal leader is the eldest son of late former Iranian President Akbar Hashimi Rafsanjani.